This is a continuation of back in Seattle stuff to do. And I thought I'd put out my big three honker motors. And I built these, I don't know, about three years ago. And since four years ago, and then I got married and moved to Belarus for most of the year and so they've been sitting around but so this is a got a rotor like this inside there two inch wide neodymiums one inch thick these rotors are uh, plastic they aren't wood, they're made of a uh, layered starboard. Some, Anyways, so I have two of these kind of the same and it has four coils on this side and four coils on this side and I started to do this one inch, one and a quarter inch thick uh, layered plywood as a statter and now you can really glue in uh, coils really good and they aren't going to be popping out or anything and it's pretty strong and uh, so I have four on each side and this has the principle of north-south north-south four magnets in the middle and when the coils fire, they're going to both push and pull at the same time on both sides of the magnet. And this one's the same thing. And I got a little timing thing and I was running this, putting in uh, alternating DC, or you can put in straight AC if you get it up to the sine wave speed first. I believe I ran this one off my rotating disc converter and this one I was pulsing alternating DC and I was trying to sell these on eBay too. I was saying hey anybody want one of these? I think I was offering 400, saying $400 and I kept lowering the price and nobody bought them but here they are still here this is my this was going to be a car motor this is maybe the most powerful thing I have it's got three rotors in here it's got uh, eight coils eight coils eight coils eight coils and there's eight magnets in each rotor so this is like a total of 24 magnets and we have coils on both sides of the magnets and a big thick one inch thick I believe it is uh, steel axle threaded steel axle and I put these here just to strengthen it see if you can see anything the rotors are of composite well, I guess you'd call it epoxy carbon fiber rotors they're kind of elaborate to make but I did it so this was supposed to be a car motor I was going to put this in my electric Fiat and uh, was going to have it also like work as a generator too but I sold that thing it had a forklift motor in it so this thing weighs uh, just weighed it's 21 kilograms it's pretty heavy um, so there's these and uh, there's that rotor I showed you that I was working on, 28 magnets. And 
28 magnet positions, 56 magnets total. I made a little timing wheel for my uh, Romero UK variant molar generator. I have little timing magnets out on the rim here. That's how I was running it before, but I didn't really like that too much. I like it in a little timing disc and then I can move the timing real slightly where the Hall effect goes uh, as it's running because usually when you start it up and it's going slow there's one timing that's good and then when you have it under load there's another timing that's good and then if you want it full speed there's another timing that's good so I like to have the timing uh, adjustable as it's going so Got my oscilloscope, hoorah, BK analog type, works pretty good. And I plan on suspending this rotor in the air with magnetic bearings. And this is going to be the axle I'm going to have, and there'll be probably steel through the middle, make it stronger. And... Uh, I got these two donut shaped disc magnets. They're really strong, grade 52. I have two of them here. I'm going to put two of them over on the other end too. And then it's going to have like a magnet here, uh, a round disc magnet, grade 252. It's really strong. About right here, another one about right here. Another one about right here, so it's going to kind of be suspended in a triangular field. And um, that'll keep it suspended in the air. I made something like this over in Belarus. It was a lot, pretty lightweight rotor. And I didn't have these magnets so strong, but now I got these strong magnets over here. So I think I can do it. So this is going to be going, you know, through here. And then, you know, so it'll have six magnets, three over here, three over here, that suspend the uh, axle magnets. And I'll, I'm going to be putting two over here. I haven't put them in yet because I want to construct it first and then make them, make it, make it, uh, finish it up. And uh, then I'm going to have a magnet here. And a magnet here to keep fore and aft movement so it uh, it'll just lock itself in place and spin in air so we'll see how this goes uh, it's pretty heavy rotor pretty heavy and not that heavy but um, I've only done this lightweight so far, and it did work really good. You uh, Usually what people do is they have it kind of pushing one way, and then you have a, look, a little pinpoint where it rotates on on one side. But I want it to be magnets on both sides and completely suspended in air. You can look on YouTube. You can see some people have done this, but not something this big. If worse comes to worse, I'll have a vertical uh, shaft to this and suspend it in air like this. But I want to do it uh, horizontal shaft like this. So that's my project with that. So, another video. Uh, Okay, uh, thanks for watching.